night. This month marks National Stout Month. So Ain't no doubt. It's stout month. Stop playing so with me today. Uh, if you're looking to celebrate, there are plenty of breweries here in Northeast Ohio. What was that again? What was the song? Ain't no doubt. It's stout month. In this News 5 original, Meg Shaw goes straight to one of the pioneers of the craft beer industry as part of her Buckeye Built series. And Meg... You have some exciting news to share oh, about yes. that. Listen, well, big news, I am not going to be singing this morning. No. I'll leave that to Katie. Okay. All right, yes, <laughs> in, in the heart of Ohio City, of course, you can find Great Lakes Brewing Company. And the big news here is that since they opened 30 years ago, they've actually never sold their beer in cans. But that is all changing this year, starting in April. You're going to find their Dortmunder, IPA, and Mexican Lager all in cans at your local store. And why this sounds like a small movie, it's actually huge in the beer industry uh, because I talked to their CEO to see what it's going to take for that company to stay relevant in the industry after all these years. Hoppy, hazy, fruity. The craft beer industry is overflowing with flavor. People are exploring and trying new styles and figuring out what suits them. Brewers like Steve Foreman taking risks, reinventing the beer scene. We're starting to experiment. While some companies are just getting on their feet, the Great Lakes Brewing Company is deepening their 32-year-old roots in the CLE. This company, the brand DNA is solid. The company hasn't only emerged as a leader in the Buckeye State, which now has 300 craft breweries, they're ranked 20th in the entire nation, according to the Brewers Association. Look, the beer business is a fun business, but it's also very competitive. So I think we have to have a competitive edge. You've seen their classics like Dortmunder Gold, Edmund Fitzgerald, and of course, I can't leave out Christmas Ale. But with so many new players in the game, Great Lakes new CEO Mark King believes Innovation is their key to staying relevant in the crowd. Maintaining our DNA and what the core of this business and what we built is key, but we also believe that we can still be very innovative and go out there and create occasions that make us, you know, more attractive to a young adult consumer. Foreman says they're also working on a new beer lineup for 2020. You need to adapt, adapt to the market, and but you, you want to make things that people want. It's a year of chance and change to not only stay in the game but continue to win it. You just got to pick your pick your uh, opportunities and make sure they're right and when you get into them drive really hard. Okay, so we've already told you earlier this month the brew pub is currently currently closed as they make renovations. The CEO tells me you can look forward to a beer hall when those renovations are complete. That of course will come later on this year. For more on Great Lakes, I'm going to have a full story uh, just uh, here in a little bit on our News 5 app. Guys,